Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays. I'm Rose Rob, aka Star Shadow. To entertain Marino Challenge on FM 21. As you can see, kind of changed the setup a little bit. We just had a month, about a month and a half off of recording because of some house problems in the back here. I uh, had a little bit of a sewer backup came into this room so we had to kind of move things and repairs just got done so I'm moving stuff back in and because of that was able to change the setup a little bit and get the camera from the side over there to in front ish so I'm gonna try this and see how this goes so hope you like it uh, and for uh, those that don't know the San Marino challenge is to take the tiny microstate of San Marino from the bottom of the field rankings to the tippy top. Uh, simultaneously, you're taking a club based in San Marino to Champions League Glory, which we already did if you've uh, been following along. That was last season. Uh, and the club side's going pretty well. So uh, basically, club, we've taken over the club, uh, pumped a ton of money into them, uh, pimped out all the youth intakes uh, with the youth coaching, youth facilities, and all that stuff, and all the club coaching itself just to kind of cut out you know 20 25 30 seasons that you would do normally to uh improve your uh, youth intakes in order to see the challenge is even possible because without good youth intakes you got nothing and well best way to do that is take over a club and really do that kind of thing um uh if without it you're kind of screwed so uh, in this case uh, we've done that and you can kind of see how we've done with that so we go to oops i don't know why i did that we're already here so uh as you can see we have, we're all the way up to 125 we were started out at 210 i took over right around here we we're at 197 and you can see we just boom just boom and we've got some good players so uh kind of see that we've done a pretty good job i will see them when we look at them in a moment uh, first thing I wanted to do is one person uh, in the comments had asked if uh, what our worst loss was uh, and in the nation side we had a very very bad where is it uh, as you can see a couple of bad results here uh, this would have been second season yeah second season that I had uh, control over the national team very bad very bad year for us uh, but this here very terrible uh, result for us got beat six nothing in Belgium <laughs> and then we got beat five nothing at home so yes we do get beat and we do get beat pretty badly and this is probably the worst loss uh, for the worst two losses for me for they are the worst two losses for, for me in the nations uh, or at least for the nation uh, I mean we've gotten some good results though so I mean other than that it's been pretty good uh, you see we uh, last video you'd see that we gotten through uh, Nations League C we could be moving on up to Nations League B great job by us there uh, very close for run thing Oops. Uh, so now we're to Euro qualifying and we have a group that is gonna be very very interesting why because as you can see we have the number two team in the, in the world right now Italy that's our inaugural match here uh, Austria with Yusuf Demir they're 20, 25th I believe 28th that's gonna be a fun team this is gonna be the one that really gonna matter for us uh, Andorra we should have a little trouble with uh, Slovenia 72 uh, we should be able to handle them too so our chances of qualifying uh, for the Euros is gonna be what we do against Austria. I mean, if we can take anything from Italy, that'd be great, but uh, I'm not going to count on that because that would be, <laughs> that would just be uh, a wonderful, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's probably not likely going to happen. We've, in fact, they've already taken a couple of our uh, youth <laughs> onto their side. So to make them good. Um, so uh, we're going to get into this one. Uh, this is tough because we I don't know if we can play our best players in back-to-back -back matches uh, we might try though uh, so I'm missing Tia Giardi because of suspension uh, but 
Other than that, we should have our number one side. Uh, so we go into our, our five, three, two here. Yep. Boom. All right. So we're going to make a little bit of a change here because with this going on, uh, I don't actually like this, but we are going to go. I want him to ball win or do I want him to be half back? I mean, it's going to end up being about the same. That's I go with the ball winner here. Uh, Ramos is of course our best attacking option. So we're going to want him to kind of, I want Galtieri to cover here, but Ramos is our best attacking option on the left. See, he's super fast, good solid uh, mentals, but uh, dribbling, crossing, pretty good. Uh, but as you can see, tackling, marking, not the best, but solid, and his jumping kind of sucks. On the right, we have Aluigi. Uh, split in time and club level at the right back position. Uh, number one, 1A, 1B kind of thing. Good mentals. Pretty good athlete. Um, technically not the best, but solid. And Chiquetti is our number one right now just came over from the italy camp i wasn't getting any caps for them so he was like okay i'll finally come over so um pretty good keeper top level keeper maybe not a uh top level like um playing at a top team but you know mid table top five league i think it's pretty good uh we also have gualandi who is also the same kind of thing he's actually in our B side right now even though he's good enough to play for uh an A league a top man I cannot talk today but he's good enough to play at a uh top level side top flight side somewhere in the top five leagues so we're gonna try and sell him on uh in the summer see if that will work uh da -da -da, so our hope is gonna be here Daniel and Giardi to kind of uh, lead the line here. One of our best players here, as you can see. And like all of our strikers, you're gonna see a very, very common frame, of course, pace, acceleration, dribbling. Uh, Golanucci is actually coming off a huge match in, uh, a few matches ago. Three matches ago, I think, where he scored four, five goals. Man, it was a bunch of goals though. Pace. Acceleration, dribbling. But the added ability, yeah, he can jump. So he's going to be a very uh, important one for us in this one. Yep, crosses for us. We're going to go here. First sign. All right, we're going to see what we can do here. Let's see if we got anything. Uh, the other one to highlight here is Bellini. Oh, actually, we should probably be playing Giardi. Can he hurt? Oh, it's, he's hurt, isn't he? Uh, it's our man Giardi in it leads. Uh, he must be hurt. I think he did get hurt. As a matter of fact, let's hold on. I gotta check that out. Because he is uh, our best option there. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there, he's always oh, suspended. That's the, oh, okay. Okay, no, 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 no. I understand. He's right here. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is a Brody, but it's not a Giardi. Uh, as you can tell, it's been a while. And I'm forgetting players <laughs> and how everything was set up. So. Coming back after a month of not playing is going to make it very interesting. Okay, so here we go. But this is who we wanted to start here because he's probably the best attacking uh, midfielder we get. So he's at Leeds. We sold him for 20 million. Uh, he's played a bit. He played great, but, uh, but yeah, he's, he's a pretty good player. So instead, we got Bellini, who's actually been uh, in the top flights 
basically across Europe right now. Playing very well at every stop right now. So he's in France in the top flight there. Like on. See so does eight goals, ten assists there. Uh Eindhoven, Netherlands last year. Five goals, six assists. 1.12. Now he's at Sevilla and La Liga. And playing very well there. Well, so. But for some reason, no one really wants to buy him. But we're gonna be trying to sell him again. Alright. So now we were should be set up here. Oh, I gotta set everything back up again because I'm dumb. So we talked to this already, so we don't need to talk about this again. So yes, I flopped these guys to have the defensive cover here. Your plane down the left. All right, give us a shot. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Oh no, 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 no! I wanted to do it here. Stupid. I'm gonna flop everything in the tactics afterwards. Okay, that's right. We'll live. Right. And we've gotten well, have we gotten a result against anyone really good? And we've gotten results against solid teams. But nothing at the top level. Okay, so Ed Striker, Colin Moraldini, but those have been following along for a long time. He came out of our second youth intake. He's actually Sam Marinese. He won the Ballon d'Or. So someone from our youth intake. He's actually Sam Marinese won the Ballon d'Or. Of course, he was never considering playing for us, but uh, yeah, he's good. So this is someone we produced. So this is going to be fun. All right, we'll try what they said. I don't like it, but let's try what they said. Uh, Zaniolo. Yep. Definitely want to freak or foot him. We will mark him though. And we'll press him. Press stereo. Also, pretty good here. Uh, Barilla. Pretty good player. He's at Barcelona now. Tonali. Also at Barcelona. It's a very interesting Italian group they got. Jerry also at part so the Italian national team is basically playing in Barcelona right now. Right. Estonia at Inter. Uh, we'll pass at Leicester. Here's the one we were interested in bringing in. And uh, Pachoki, who is also from our youth intake. Uh, we just sold him on to Chelsea. So I know he doesn't like big matches. How much are we selling for? $70 million. So that's what? 60 million pounds, something like that. 60 million euros, somewhere in there. Uh, so pretty good. I mean, he's good. I would have loved to keep him, but for 60 million, times you gotta go. Especially since we were bringing in some right backs that we might be able to play. But I mean, still hurts to, to lose someone for a youth intake. I didn't see what we gotta do here. Uh, press and press, of course. All right, what well, we gotta tell everyone here? Oh, show them what we're made of. Okay, people are only kind of liking that. All right, we gotta give everyone the eye of faith because we need people to be ready. How much do the terms of Massimiliano's, uh, Massimiliano Chachi's loan deal affect your decision to start him? What? Who? Why are you allowed to ask me questions? Play it's because he deserves to. He's one of our best central defenders. Given Gianluca Bellini's lack of match fitness, how long can he last out there? It's good enough. Do what we gotta do. Alright, this is gonna be the fun thing because uh, I have to. 
check and make sure our stuff here is actually what it's supposed to be. It's not a switch formation. And this one to be match stats. See what we got here. Really and some green. Alright, so let's go boys. What we got? Trying to play in the counter against us? That's interesting. That is really interesting. of our 50-50 possession. Not bad. We're the only one to get a shot off. We'll take that. Our 72 yellow card. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now with the yellow card. Okay, now they're going to do something. All right. Let's uh, knock it down and go on the counter. Well, I would have preferred a little bit more out here, but you know, times you do what you got to do. Good block. Ramos showing some defensive ability there. All right, push him back, push him back. Ah, we have him two on two if we win the ball. Oh, oof. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, this is the problem. Uh, our formation should be there now. Now we're seeing stuff. Okay, Caltieri. Uh, tired and tired already, which is good for us. Um, also doing too bad. Nice. Uh, I'll head it out further out that way, though. Alright, let's see if we can create something. Nice. Ooh, it's his weaker foot too. Oh, he got to, oh come on, that is... <laughs> he went through the back of him to get to that. That is somehow not a vol. Are you kidding me? Let's do that again. Uh... Oops, uh, I hate what they did to this, that we can't just go back like this. Oh, I like how it did it like three different ways there. Oh, look at that. He's, hmm? and that's a, what? Are you sure that's not a foul? That's going straight through the back. I mean, that's a last man red card as he goes straight through the back oh i didn't even change it to the match one my bad there we go let's go everyone ah come on people don't be so crying not happy think you can do better too and I think you can do better. Oh, demoralized. Oh, that's not good. That's okay. We'll bring in an A sub. He's going to be demoralized. Oops. Ah, I got to change it back to sideline. So I can see what's going on. Important that we have a good look at what's going on. This is one of the better tech. Oh, God. One of the better tactical cameras so we can see everything. I actually used to play behind corner and get something. What's going on? Well, okay, that's, uh, okay. Really strange, really. 
No one knows what's going on there. Alright, he already got sick. I'm gonna have to pull him. Since Yard doesn't want to play today, we have a couple options. I think we're going to go with uh, Nicola Fiorini. And as I talked about previously, pace, acceleration, dribbling is what we produce. Uh, I think he might be the one. He's been out on loan a bit, quite a bit. Or we go with uh, Luca Machina. Pace, acceleration, dribbling. Uh, his biggest problem here is his jumping range of two because he's 5'2. He's tiny. But he does score too. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Fiorini though. Galtier is going to be next one getting pulled. We're going to bring in probably DM, probably priority. Then move Rusty up to the. Uh, Eve Lion Playmaker, and then we might switch him to a. I uh, thought I hit it. There we go. Uh, change it to a box to box. Or. Oh, no, no, I wanted to go to here to be playing. Shoot. Screwed that up. Why didn't he pick up the ball? He, unless he got pulled back. Just looked at the ball. It was sitting there, and then he he must have got pulled back, and we're getting completely hosed by the referees once again. Referees hate us. They do not like a minnow rising up. They absolutely hate us. We're gonna go ball winner first. I screwed this up because I forgot to change these again. Why playing down the right? I, pl I definitely switched that down the left. No, that's not helping. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Actually, this whole thing is not even right. No wonder why I've switched all this stuff. <sighs> no wonder why things are not running correctly. Ah. Uh, I switched all this stuff before, and I switched it again. I wonder why we're not playing very well. That is... Great, I love it. The game is already... game is trying to screw us now, too, not just referees. Pfft. the ball in the air. Come on, man. I'm feeling confident enough to go positive. Uh, they run a Mancini. Another one of our youth intakes. I don't know, first youth intake. This is uh, our man, Mancini, uh, Mancini, who is our starting wing back at the club side. On the left side, star wing back. He is, one of the, he is the best wing back in the world on the left side, I would say. Absolutely the best. How he actually won a twenty something caps with San Marino before switching somehow. I don't know how that exactly that worked, but it seems that uh doesn't really matter what we do. To hold on to someone unless apparently unless we get into the Euros or the World Cup. It's the only way we can actually decap tie anyone. 
Although I think he, if you follow rules, say that even doing like the Nations League would be good, especially if he start an entire Nations League, which I'm not pretty sure he did uh, early on. I'm just not getting anything from anyone right now. Not getting anything from anyone right now. Okay, but it's not doing nothing. He's dead tired. I got to figure out who I want to play there. I don't know. I have no idea what was going on there. The Verani? Chris. Uh, might be there, might be there, only option. The Verani is cost us against Belgium. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were gunning for. What were we getting for at that point? We're going qualifying, I guess. Back to a red card. Really screw this. That wasn't the first match. That would have been the first match. It might have been Leech's League. Like, or Euro qualifying. I don't like it, but I think that's our option. final sub there Come on, Ramos uh, you can beat him what 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 happened he handled it oh my god and we have no one that can take a penalty look at these this is terrible oh god Oh no, no, not this team can take a penalty either. All right. I trust Golden Nucci as much as I can trust anyone on the team right now, so. That a boy, that a boy. That wasn't a good idea, but that's the best pass. Surprise we're attacking. Maybe I should I gotta drop down to cautious, maybe. Oh go. Oh, they're not even attacking. They got three guys in the back here. Flip it through. Oh, what is that? Golanucci, you score the goal and then you try to give it back? What is going on, man? Uh, maybe I don't want to pass through that. Let's go. Just, Cause that is not good. That is not good, man. That is absolutely not good. Go beat him. Beat him. Beat him. Use your pace and your dribbling. Okay, we'll get it. Going. Okay, just go forward. Just go forward. Just dribble. Just dribble. Don't pass. Just trouble. Oh, and get totally hacked down there. My God. Oh, what? How's that only warning? You mugged him. That is terrible. Okay. 
See? Referees, they hate us. Okay, nice little flick there, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. A free. Well, that was- oh, wow, what is that? Just because he's a teammate, or was a teammate, doesn't mean you can let him do that. How's that for a result? How's that for a result in European qualifications? Deserved? Maybe not. <laughs> but we did a pretty good job there of keeping them from anything too good. They had one good opportunity there. Monaldini had that shot from, what, just inside the, the penalty spot there. Had a nice look. But other than that, did they really have anything that was that dangerous? Looks like they had something else here, but I don't remember what it was. But I think, I think we were a good value for a draw. But man, we got an opportunity. We took care of it. That's huge for qualifying. Huge. Absolutely huge. It's the kind of thing we need if we want to get into the Euros. It could be Sam Marino's first ever Euro European qualification. Euro. Euro. Euros qualification. How am I going to put that? I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. I'm just talking. Trying to talk. I'm out of practice, everyone. I'm out of practice. That is huge. That is absolutely humongous. What a result. Yay us. Fantastic and completely unexpected win. You must be delighted. <laughs> Believe it or not, no, we would not have won by more. We may have won, but it was no fun to watch at times. So. <laughs> That's a perfect performance against a very, very good team there. Golnucci's dramatic late goal was something for you to savor. What did you think of that moment? That's what soccer is all about. That's what football is all about. It's going a late one. Very, very huge there. Love it. It's wonderful. It's exactly what we needed. Great start. We're going to get into the European Championships, into the Euros. That is what we needed. And we pulled it off. And we pulled it off. To what's going to be the question now is to see what's going to happen uh, with tiredness. Because uh, we're going to need some some players here to be okay. I just kicked on the kick the uh, tripod of the, of the camera. Um, yeah, I'm pleased, happy with that. It's wonderful. Glad to see it. Exactly what we need. It is exactly what we need. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it here for us in this one. Huge, huge, huge result here in your Euros qualifying. I didn't expect it. You didn't expect it. Come on. I don't lie. You didn't expect it. I 100% didn't, I didn't expect it. I was hoping to take a point. But at home, we're pretty good at home. Once we get on the road, we're going to be at, on the road in Austria next match. Things get dicey. But uh, got it done at home and couldn't be prouder. They came out and did what they had to do. They justified me playing my best uh, best 11 instead of holding them for Austria, who we have a better chance of beating. Uh, so, yes, we did it. We've christened the new setup here. The big old win. So very happy about that. And I hope that bodes well in the future. So uh, definitely hope you all are enjoying it. Thank you all for watching and hanging with me through the last month month and a half as we kind of trickled out stuff uh on youtube here so if you are watching here on youtube please like comment subscribe share all that good stuff here on these videos really do appreciate it shout out to all you subscribers out there thank you thank you thank you and uh yes there's a link in our description in all the descriptions of the videos to twitch and our twitter if you want to come hang out twitch at some point lots of different games there uh might be trying some new stuff even uh twitter we tweet somewhat at, at streams by star every once in a while I tweet I think of something don't always uh maybe I'll get back into it a little bit more but we'll see it's all we're all we're learning here relearning the whole situation again so again thank y'all for being here hanging out watching 
and supporting really really do appreciate that so uh hope you all are doing well out there stay well out there stay safe stay good i will see y'all next time